Carlos Jackson was here socializing with friends and co-workers at this nightclub on Christmas Eve. He took a picture with his co-workers hours before that day. Later that night, he called his family to wish them Merry Christmas. But a few hours later, around 3.30 that Christmas morning, he was cut to the neck and killed as he was leaving the nightclub. He was heading home from um, the nightclub because he, he just got off of work and um, he went to take two beer at the nightclub and he had, you know, he had interacted with different people that he knew. He even called us at around midnight when it was Christmas morning and he got with all the family, he called all the family and to them the Merry Christmas. But it was like around 3, 30, coming around 4 o'clock that um, my husband got a call that um, my brother was murdered. Jackson's sister says her 20-year-old brother was killed due to jealousy. She claims the reason he may have been killed is because of a work promotion, allegedly by someone he knew well. So from what I've been hearing is that um, he was murdered, I think due to jealousness. Um, the last thing that my brother told me was that... Um, he, the person that that he worked with, one of the, someone that he worked with, um, is really mad at him or jealous of him for his promotion. Oh, and okay. I cannot really say if it, it has anything to do with that person, but from my information that we've been gathering is that um, it sounds like they knew. I think they turned one of his co-workers. But his co-workers spoke of no such animosity. They all got along and socialized with each other outside of work. As a matter of fact, that night he was killed, he was with his co-workers partying. His murder has left them in shock. I think it happened um, after socializing with some of the staff, you know, co-workers after um, their shift. And I think he was like coming out again, you know, to continue enjoy himself and I think that's when it happened. So some of them are right there with him when that Yes, like maybe a couple of hours before it happened. Some of the staff were together, you know, taking a drink before the celebration of Christmas. So and you haven't heard, you know, if there was an argument, was there any problem? Um from the staff from what they're saying that, you know, they were happy. They were like, you know, enjoying themselves, drinking. And I, you know, I think, so, not sure exactly what happened, but, you know, it was time for them to all go home, which is they did. And I think he was still in a parting mood to come out back again to celebrate. Um, really hard. Um, the first day it happened, staff was here working, but, you know, a part of us was missing him. We tried our best, we work as a team, and still, really, it's really a big loss for us. I was in shock when I got the news. I was, it was early in the morning when um, a security guard called me and said, you know what, you know that they, they killed Carlos last night? I was, I was in shock. I'm like, no, I can't believe, no, you're lying, no, yes, um, I, I feel something very horrible. From all accounts, Jackson was hardworking. He had been working at the rum fish Vino in Placencia since the summer as a prep cook. He had dreams of owning his own food business. First he started as a dishwasher, like a couple of days, and then I saw that he, his potential of, that he had of want to learn and, and cook, so I just promote him one time to cooking and prepping. Um, and he always wanted to learn and always asking questions, writing and behind me and I was like, okay, just doing the, you know, teaching, teaching and he was always learning. Um, I see his talents, his um, motivation to learn and want to become someone um, in the future, has, have his own business and I saw all the passion he had for cooking. So he was a good co-worker yeah, he, there in the kitchen? Yeah, he was a good um, team player. He was a good worker, um, always clean, always doing something. Again, he was a humble person. He worked very hard for what he wanted. He had a lot of ambitions. He had a lot of goals. And he was making steps with literally. One of his greatest ambitions and one of his greatest goals was to become a pro chef. And okay. from my understanding is that he just, I think got promoted at Rome Fish or something like that. Carlos is a very hard working person, dedicating his time to his job. 
always on time, very friendly. Someone that you can really talk to sometimes, you know, just especially when you're down, like he's right there to like, anything that you ask him to do, like he's like, sure, no problem. Very sweet person. Reporting for News 5, Amandra Polanco.